Hello everyone, welcome in my YouTube channel. Today, in this lecture, we are going to discuss about the ore deposits in pegmatites. First of all, we discuss what is the pegmatite. Pegmatite crystallizes from highly fractionated hydrous residual melts, batches of felsic magma bodies that are enriched in volatiles and incompatible trace elements. Pegmatite is a product of the residual fluid uh, that is of last stage of the magmatic body. Here this is the granitic proton in which the pegmatitic Veins are crystallized. So also, this is the intrusion of pegmatite uh, veins as you clearly seen in this photograph. The wa what are the characteristics of pegmatites? Pegmatites are characterized by coarse crystalline textures, occasionally by gant crystals, and mineralytic cavities and minerals of rare earth element. This, these are the main characteristics of pegmatite. Most pegmatite are related to granites and have a paragenesis of orthoclase that is perthite, microkin, albite, mica and quartz. The common minerals include tourmaline, topaz, beryl, Cassiterite and lithium minerals. Felsic magmatites melt, including ultramapic rocks, suffer desilication resultings and the characterized by corundum, kyanite, and anorthite. Now, classification of pegmatites. Pegmatites are mostly granitic and can be classified based on their emplacement depth which leads to differentiation of following type. First one is a bisel pegmatite which are anatactic in magmatites of amphibolite and granulite faces metamorphic zones. Muscovite pegmatite that occurs in amphibolite faces, kyanite, mica cyst, and are commonly related to granite but exhibit little fractionation. Highly fractionated rare earth pegmatites that are derived from strongly differentiated fertile granite, host rocks typically contain corderite and andalusite. Next is mineralytic pegmatite form at low pressure and are proximal to granite. They may content, contain parts of optical quality, various gemstone and valuable crystals of many rare earth minerals. So this is the picture of mineralytic pegmatite and here this is the muscovite pegmatites. Granitic pegmatites occurs in the form of dikes, oval and lenticular bodies. Most pegmatite bodies are relatively small with tens of meter thickness and a length of a few hundred meters. Some pegmatites occur at the roof of granite and form a thin cell between the intrusion and the roof rock. Granitic pegmatites may be isotropic or anisotropic, inhomogeneous, or zoned or complex pegmatite. Here, this is the external zonation of rare earth pegmatite and cassitite quartz zone near fertile granite in the central Asia. 
This is the complex or the zone, the plasmatite, in which there are border zone, wall zone, albite zone, and intermediate zone, and core margin that is large crystal of turmaline, beryl, and spodumin are occurs, and the central that is the core zone. This is the deposit scale zoning pattern in an, in an idealized pegmatite. The internal zonation in complex pegmatite might have two causes. First one is the fractional crystallization in closed system and second one is the repeated injection of new melt batches in an open system. A chemical exchange directed from enclosing rocks to be the pegmatite is possible. The wall zone could contain tourmaline rich due to reaction of iron and magnesium mobilized from the host rock with boron from the volatile phase of the pegmatite. The pegmatite melts are ejected along with enrichment of water, boron, chlorine, phosphorus, tin, rubidium and other incompatible elements while the main magma body crystallizes. Another possibility is that the small pegmatitic melt batches rise directly from the source region of the parent granite. Now, the pegmatite may host many minerals, and these include the ores of beryllium, lithium, rubidium, cesium, tantalum, niobium, uranium, thorium, rare earth elements, molybdenum, bismuth. Tin and wolframite. The industrial minerals like muscovite, feldspar, kaolin, quartz, spodumene, petalite, and fluorite, and gemstone, as well as rare earth specimen that is the emerald, topaz, tourmaline, ruby, etc. The derivation of pegmatites from I, S, and A type granite is probably the main control of the availability of specific elements for the enrichment. So this is the picture with the pool magma which crystallized into the pegmatites in the form of pegmatitic veins. Thank you.